Hello, everyone. Welcome to my Surat Scampi video tutorials. Today we are going to try something different. You probably heard about Chat GPT. It is very popular at the moment. I don't think I need to introduce Chat GPT here. Now, lots of YouTube videos you can watch. If you watched some videos about ChatGPT, you can see since ChatGPT can do a lot of things. So today we ask ChatGPT to produce R code for analyzing single cell RNA sequencing data for the dataset GSE. 132771. This is the data set that I frequently used in my videos. So I logged in my account already. You can watch other videos to see how you can apply a chat GPT account. So let's click the button to see how chat GTP produce code for us. So you can see it start to write R code. So it uh, writes very quickly. Uh, we probably can wait until it uh, finishes. Then we can have a look at the code to see if the code works for us or not. So, chat GPT finished the writing. It also gave us some explanation down here. So the code first download data from GEO database, then create a surat object, then filter the cells, like we perform the quantity control, then normalize the data, perform PCA and dimensionality reduction and they finally class the cells. So the final line of code creates a dimensional plot of the clustering result. So it also explained that this code is just an example and there are many different measures and parameters that can be adjusted for single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. So it looks quite promising. Uh, actually, it followed the correct uh, procedure for single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. So let's uh, copy the code into R to see if we actually can use it to do some single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. So we can open R now and uh, paste the code. So you can see the first step, it notes that the library thread. So thread is the tool that we need to perform single cell RNA sequencing data analysis in R. So actually we need to know that the library like ggplot2 or tidyverse in order to or see the cell clusters. So next one, next code you can see it downloads GSE one three two seven seven one data from GEO website and save somewhere. Has a folder named the GSE one three two seven seven one. This is quite good. So after downloading the data, it. Uh, starts to create a throughout object. So for our analysis, we need to read this data. Use read the 10 times function to read the sequencing data into R. So next, it filter the cells by the gene numbers and also possibly the expression levels. 
this is like we perform the quantity control then it starts to normalize the data oh actually it follows the standard procedure to find the variable features and then run PCA then perform the find the clusters in our standard analysis we also need to perform find the neighbors then run umap finally we can run the dim plot to see the cell clusters so here it just run the dim plot to see the pca so you can see it actually quite good but of course you cannot uh, uh, just use this code to analyze the data you need to modify it so we can compare it with the uh, surat standard workflow analysis if we go to the surat uh, um, website there is a place to show us surat standard workflow process you can see first we need to uh, read the data into r then create a surat object after that we normalize the data find variable features so then we scale the data run pca find the neighbors and uh, find the clusters we normally do uh, run umap here is a example to run tsne if you prefer tsne you can just run tsne then finally we can use the dim plot function to see our cell clusters so just for fun uh, i show you uh, how to ask uh, chat gpt to write uh, r code for analyzing single cell rna sequencing data it looks very promising but uh, you do need to understand the standard workflow process then you can make uh, modifications from here so i only show the example ask uh, chat gpt to write a code for r users if you are a python user we can also ask uh, chat gpt to write python code for analyzing single cell RNA sequencing data we can have a go if we put it here change it to python let's uh, click the button again so you can see down here uh, chat gpt start to generate a code for analyzing single cell RNA sequencing data in python So the note is very similar for the R code for data analysis. So we can go back to have a look at the code. You can see the important part. It uh, imported a scanp. Scanp is the tool to analyze single cell RNA sequencing data in Python. So next step, to read the data in and filter the cells and the genes and normalize the data also run PCA it used the Lumari method to perform cell clustering and then finally plot the cell clusters so I'm going to stop here you can have a go in chat GPT to see what kind of code you will get please share your experience in the comments